Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 49th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. Our focus right now is on board evaluation, which is a key component of the AI search routine that we're using known as Minimax. So recall in the last video, we uh, went through the basics of the board evaluation. I showed you one of the um, factors if you will, in the board evaluation, uh, you know, we're going to use a, sort of a, a weighted sum of factors. And I showed you piece value, which is simply assigning a score to each piece. Uh, and I think it's like pawns are 100 points, bishops and knights are 300 points, rooks are 500 points, uh, the queen is 900 points, and obviously the king is. Uh, in you know it's uh, worth 10,000 points because it's extremely valuable we can't afford to lose our king uh, so we give it uh, you know almost a ridiculous uh, score um, so in this video what I want to do is I want to uh, just flesh out some other parts of this evaluation method and hopefully they should be easy because we've done a lot of the work in the prep and the setup uh, so let's jump right into it okay so let's add mobility next so we have piece value and we're gonna say uh, plus and we're gonna have a method here called mobility and mobility will just need the player and mobility is just a matter of for the given board that we're looking at how many um, let's make it an int uh, how many legal moves does that player have in this position? How many options, really, does this player have? So this is going to be a factor in uh, our evaluation. So we're just going to say return player dot get legal moves dot size, and that's it. And each of these factors, you can weight them differently, right? You might say. Um, you might want to tune your algorithm and say, you know what, mobility is really important for me. So I just don't want, if, and if I have 15 legal moves, I don't want the score just to be 15. I want it to be 15 times some scaling factor, right? So uh, double it, right? So that means that we get a score of 30 and our, you know, the, the basic unit of our point system would be, you could think of as like a pawn, right? So the pawn is the cheapest you could think of it in terms of the pawn. So if our cheapest unit is a pawn, 30 points is, you know, whatever, three-tenths of a pawn in value for mobility, right? And if you, if you really wanted to uh, play around with it, you could, um, you know, you could change that scaling factor. Of course, it might negatively impact your search algorithm, but I just wanted to point out that our final evaluation is going to be based on a, a weighted sum. So we have piece value, mobility, um, let's do uh, check next, next. That should be a pretty easy one to write. So plus check. And there we're going to say check is passing in the player. OK. So here if we create this method called check. It's private. and. Uh, what we'll just say here is return player dot get my opponent dot is in check right so if the current board if the if on the current board the current player's opponent is in check then return what we'll call the check bonus otherwise return zero Right, so we have to introduce. So we'll have a private static final int check bonus is equal to, and what we can change this over time. Um, we'll just start with a value of 50. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to tune this. So it's worth half a pawn if the current board ends in such in a situation where, um, if the current board that we're evaluating here at the leaf node. Um, is one in which our opponent is in check. Okay, um, we should obviously give a really big bonus to checkmate, 
right? If we uh, discover checkmate, private, and you know what? These methods can actually be static. So let's go ahead and static, right? Uh, so let's say plus, and I'll clean up the indentation in a minute. Um, checkmate player, right? And uh, so let's go ahead and create this method. Just going to return an int. And here we're just going to say return player dot get opponent dot is in checkmate. All methods we've already written return the checkmate bonus. Otherwise, return zero. And in fact, actually, there's going to be a little bit more here that we want. It's not just a checkmate bonus that we want. It's actually a function of not just the player, but the depth. So <clears throat> let me explain this. If in the if within our search routine, if we find the a checkmate at a higher depth, right? That means sooner within our search, okay? We want to give an even bigger bonus to that, right? So if we traverse all the way down to the leaf node and, um, you know, we find checkmate there, well, yeah, we want to give a checkmate bonus, but if we find checkmate sooner, before depth reaches zero in our search, we want to give an even bigger bonus. So there, what we're going to say is checkmate bonus times depth bonus of depth. Okay, so I'm getting myself into trouble here for these things that don't exist yet. So let's um, uh, private static int depth bonus. And what we're going to say is um, return depth is equal to zero, then one. We don't want to return zero because then that would, you know, any number multiplied by zero is zero. Otherwise, a hundred times depth. And we can actually turn 100 into um, the uh, a, a value for the depth bonus. So first let's, let's resolve this checkmate bonus. Oops. Okay. Private static final checkmate bonus. So let's give checkmate bonus um, 10,000, right? It's just a huge, huge number. And this 100, let's, let's call that private static final in depth. Depth bonus is equal to 100. And let's go ahead and use depth bonus, okay? So now we have piece value, mobility, check, checkmate, okay? We can do castling, right? We can check to see if on the current board is the player castled or not, right? So let's see if we can do that really quickly, and then we'll stop and pause and look at our valuation function. Plus castle, castled, and we'll pass in the player. Okay. Let's make this static. Forgot to make this static. And for this, let's just say player dot is castled. And if the player is castled, we're gonna say castle bonus, otherwise zero. Right? And the castle bonus, we're going to give 60 points, right? Six tenths of a pawn. That's, those are the terms we should think about these things in. All right, so it looks like we have, um, this is not the final evaluation function I have in the GitHub repository, but it's a really good start. And actually here, let me do this to, this makes it more readable in my mind if I align it like this. Because and it also makes it easy to sort of remove one of these and bring it back with comments. 
Oops. <clears throat> okay, so we have a, a you know a fairly robust evaluation routine. Um, so we'll stop here, and I'll pick it up in the next video, and we'll add a few more things to this, and then we will act. Hopefully, in that same video, we'll do some tests on, and and see how our uh, search routine Minimax operates, how well it is at uh, making decisions. All right, so uh, thank you guys so much for your interest in this series. Uh, the next video is going to be our 50th video, which is amazing to me. Um, you guys have been really supportive. Um, and please do like the videos and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.